Hi, WGDB community. My name is Dennis, and this is my sprint update. Um, so for this sprint, we had a few stories um, that focused on um, helping users um, having the ability to uh, notif notify the Nkwashi team if they, or, or WGDP team, if they're unable to log in through, uh, log in into the application. And um, also uh, one of the other stories was, uh, which I focused on, was um, the new the news page, which was more like redesign the news news page and how uh, con content was handled on that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is um, the login page. So on the login page, uh, initially users were unable to um, reach out to the team through the app if they were unable to log in when they're presented on this screen because on the login screen you can you can only go to the welcome screen or on the login screen. Um, if you're not uh, authenticated as, as, as a user. So uh, a new feature of uh, trouble logging in was introduced on the login page. So as you can see here, this one is similar to the My TV portal and works, works in a similar way. So um, if you look at the screen here, we at the bottom, we have uh, what is called the trouble logging in now. So when you see this text here at the bottom that's underlined, you have to click on it and then it will present you with a dialogue which is going to um, ask you for certain information. So as you can see, it says to request uh, your login information, email uh, support at wgdp.com. So what this means is that once you enter your full name and uh, email or mobile number, and then you send the email, uh, it sends an email to uh, the support team for WGDP and they'll be able to assist you with your login credentials. So. Uh, what you need to do here is, uh, for example, you enter uh, my name and then you enter a number, for example. So what this does is um, these details are going to be um, sent in an email. So once you enter your details, you, you click send email. So once you click send email, it opens your email client. So at this point now, it creates an email with, um, it creates an, an email with the subject of saying, Nkwashi app login and then also has an email body. And if you can, if you can see in the email, we have uh, the name that was entered and the, mo the mobile number or email that was entered. So at this point, you can go ahead and uh, click send, and this will be sent to uh, support at wgdp.com. So through this mechanism, the uh, um, users who are unable to log in to, into the application can either be helped and uh, promptly assisted with credentials for them too be able to enter into the WGDB app. So the second thing that um, was worked on was um, the, the news page. So currently we have our current news page, which is this one. So um, in order to enhance the news page and have more interaction on the page, we decided to explore new um, um, services that we can use to manage the content, like uh, a, headless, it's a headless content management system. So we researched a few and um, we landed on, on, on WordPress, which was, um, it, it's, a, it's a CMS that also provides a headless CMS as well. So the reason for this was um, to try and enhance interaction with the pages, because at the moment on our pages, we only have the ability to uh, only view them. But with um, the integration of the CMS, we are able, it's still a work in progress, but in future we'll be able to have discussions and let's say ratings on posts and uh, also just more, more interaction uh, on the page. So through WordPress, we are able to create blogs in WordPress. And then uh, the moment those blogs or posts are, are updated in WordPress and are published, they will appear in our WGDP app. So, this takes care of the content management, the handling of images, and just basic text and posts that go into creating um, a news post, for example. So if, if, if you look at the screen right now, at the bottom we have something called News 2.0. So at the moment it's only available to admins because it's still a work in progress and still, um, we're still uh, trying to make the page better before we roll out to everyone. So once you click on uh, News 2.0, uh, it brings you to a new screen here. As you can see, the news, the, the new screen is a bit different now. So at the top here, we have a nav bar with the back button that takes us back to, uh, back to home. So when you click on question news, um, it brings you to um, 
this screen. So on this screen, as you can see at, at the top, we have our menu items, which are basically our uh, categories of how the posts are, um, are categorized in, in WordPress. So these um, menus are coming from WordPress. So let's say in future we want to add a new category, let's say for example, um, construction updates as, as its own category. So would um, update WordPress, uh, a category WordPress, and it will, it will, it will show up on 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 this menu here. So what what this does is now uh, on the landing page we have a default page which is just uh, basic news. So this is a, this is a featured image that is attached to the blog post from WordPress. So when you scroll down, you see uh, new information about um, new information about uh, information about the news posts. So when you scroll down, it's just um, uh, an, a, a news post that was ended from WordPress. And yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much our landing page. So when you go to um, to the category, navigation of the categories here, uh, we have uh, policies, posts, promos, and categorized. So these are just um, uh, Test, in test categories that we have from WordPress. So if you click on policies, it will filter uh, your posts. And if there are no posts on that, that uh, tagged as policies, the, we will not find uh, any post here. So when you come on post, it will uh, bring you it will bring you the latest post that you have. And depending on 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 how many posts you have that have been tagged as posts, you will be able to see them here. So we have more than one. It will show more than one. So at the moment, we only have. Uh, this post. So when you click on the post, it brings you now to to this page where uh, you have the image and more details about the article. So as you can see, um, the image that others on the on the card is now being rendered on this page as well, and we have more details uh, of the page. So all this is just um, um, uh, test information from WordPress that we uh, try to use when creating the blog. So these blogs are created in WordPress and uh, rendered through rendered rendered on this page through an API that WordPress provides. So you're able to manage your content and uh, and create your blogs in WordPress, and you can use APIs to put them in, 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 in your application. And you also have um, control of, 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 of how the content is rendered, the styling. And through uh, more digging, we, 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 we are still trying to um, see how best you can handle the styling for the blog post in 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 a uh, in our app from WordPress. So as you can see, uh, when you click on in a, a post or in, uh, any any post in a category, it brings you to this page. So when you go back, it will take you back to posts and um, uh, uh, bring you to this menu. So when you click on promotions on promos, for example, it will bring you. It shows you how many um, how many posts you have. So you have one about COVID year and cashless payments and, uh, and another um, uh, test post. So when you open uh, COVID year, you'll be able to see the image that was featured and more details about um, COVID and what, the, what exactly this post is about. So as you can see also in the corner, we have um, a button here, a share button. So what this does is it allows you to share the current page you're on. So let's say for example, you are on um, cashless payments and you want to share it to your social media. So when you click on it here, uh, it opens up a dialog where you have to enter now your Facebook details, uh, for instance, for you to uh, be able to upload to Facebook. So once you authenticate yourself, it, it shares your, uh, your blog post, as you can see here. It's, it even tells you the app, uh, the app name and everything. So once you post to Facebook, it will be um, uh, posted straight from, from the application. So that's one way of... Uh, uh, users being able to share uh, the news posts and uh, keep people posted on, on, on exactly what's going on through our uh, our um, our news page. So that was my sprint update, and um, looking forward to uh, the the coming sprint. We have some exciting things that are, are coming uh, your way, so look out for that as well. And thank you very much. This has been uh, a great sprint. I really enjoyed it and see you next sprint.